going on you guys? My name is Joseph Tubb and today we're going to finish part 9 of the guitar series. This will be the final video in this series. But what I have planned today is I'm going to show you guys how to put this guitar back together. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need. So what you're going to need is a pair of pliers, some solder, a screwdriver, some desoldering uh, band, and a soldering iron. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our whole cluster of components here, our pick guard, and we're going to go ahead and feed the wires through to their designated spot. So you're going to take your ground wire and you're going to feed it through this central hole here. I'm just going to push it through. I'm going to lay this towel over top just to protect everything. And then we're going to take our power wire that's going to be connecting to our jack and we're going to feed it through this hole. And it might be easier just to take your wires, kind of fold them over, and we're going to push it through. There we go. And then we're going to remove our towel. Flip everything over. There we go. All right, so we have our new ground, our new power wire, and then on the back side, we have our new ground wire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and screw this down because now we have everything in place. All right, so we have our screws and we're just gonna go ahead and screw these in. Okay, so now that we have the pick guard screwed down, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to mount the jack. Now, what I've already done is I've removed the existing wire, I, I desoldered the existing wire and I used this desoldering braid. So you can get these jacks right here, these little connectors cleaned, so that when we go to reconnect the new wiring, we'll have a nice clean connection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly turn this guitar to the side so it's comfortable and easy to work on. And we're going to lay a towel over the freshly painted artwork. And you're gonna position the jack, you know, obviously, going in this way and we're going to use the pliers just to trim these wires. I've already pre-tend them and everything so what I would recommend doing if this is your first time like it was mine, I'll put a bunch of links down below on very helpful videos on like the basics to soldering if you are also learning. This video is not a video where I'm going to teach you guys how to solder. And also just so you make sure that you're reconnecting the wires correctly. I made this kind of little diagram that was here, you know, the wiring was hooked up to one of the potentiometers. This was the original jack and I kind of labeled it uh, so that I knew which wire was going back to which, you know, port. I don't know if that's relatively important, but I don't want to take any risks that the guitar gets wired up backwards. So we have our white wire, it's going in here, and our black wire going there. So kind of what I'm doing here is I'm positioning the wire in through the hole so that I don't have to worry about holding it. There we go. And then the trick with soldering, as what I found, is that you heat the component of what you're soldering and then apply your solder to that and then the solder just flows directly to where the heat is. So it's kind of kind of cool how the process works. Um, so I'm not going to really talk here, just going to do... There we go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to position the jack, get our screws, 
And we're just gonna hand thread these just to get them started, just so it's not wiggling all over the place. Beautiful. So now we have our jack in place. So we can remove this towel. So the next part, and we're gonna just go ahead and finish the soldering aspect of this, is we're gonna flip this guitar over. We're going to solder our ground wire to our spring clamp. The reason why this wiring is so long is just so it's easy for me to work it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to trim the wire so that it's just long enough to fit. And what I did is I also removed the, uh, the original wire and used the desoldering band to remove the excess solder that was left over on that clip so that now when I go to connect this uh, ground wire, I'll have a nice clean connection. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to, I'm just gonna do a general measurement. I think that this should be relatively, I wanna give myself some slack just in case I have an accident, but I'm gonna give myself about, you know, four inches worth of wire. And then we're going to strip this metal casing Good enough for me. So this has kind of like a insulated, um, it's kind of like a cloth, it feels like. And uh, what I found to use is an X-Acto knife to kind of run, to run across. My pliers don't work real well for that. And then we're just going to remove that part and then there's another casing is also cloth see if, and that right there all right so now what we're left here is we have a nice wire so what we're gonna do is we're going to position this wire I'm gonna run it around I want to keep it behind where the springs are gonna be coming in those tension springs and we're just going to position it for right now I'm gonna rotate the guitar just so it's easier I'm gonna grab my cloth lay it over top we're going to solder this wire in. There we go. Nice little bead and we are grounded. All right, so now our next step here is we're going to go ahead and we're gonna reflip the guitar again. And we're gonna start putting together the simpler components. Now we're done soldering. We have all our connections hooked up. The next part we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install the bridge. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Go ahead and unplug your soldering iron. So we're done with that. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna mount this back into place. So what I'm doing is I'm just kinda just hand, hand threading these through just to get it going. And like I, like I did with the pick guard, I'm doing like every other one. Just as a precautionary thing, wanna make sure that everything lines up properly. There we go. Grab our screwdriver and let's start screwing these in. Before we put the neck on, just so that we can keep the bulk of the guitar down, we're going to go ahead and flip the guitar over once more. And we're going to go ahead and position our springs into place. And, and there's probably there's a number of methods that you can do to do this properly or just differently. You could always you know, loosen these screws up and then position it and then add your tension. But this is where the guitar was set before, so all I, all I like to do is just grab a pair of pliers and just uh, stretch the uh, stretch the spring into position. It's not hard. Uh, but I would say uh, be cautious uh, so that you don't damage your guitar. All right, so now we have those springs in place. 
The next step is kind of optional for the cover plate, but because this guitar had the cover plate on it, I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. I know some of you guys probably don't like to put your cover plate back on just so that you have easy access to the uh, your tension springs and stuff like that, but six screws. We're going to go ahead and screw this on. Again, just going to hand thread these to start. There we go, so we got the cover plate back on, which is great. Flip this guitar over again, set it down. And we have our bridge, our jack, our pick guard with all of our equipment hooked up. So now the next part is we're gonna go ahead and mount the neck back onto this guitar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this over and we're going to position our neck. Now what's nice is if you tape these areas off, you know, prior to painting and everything, uh, your neck should relatively slide in with absolutely no problem. If, if any reason it does not slide into position because there's some spray or overspray or some clear coat, uh, just take some sandpaper and sand down uh, the sides of this and you should be able to position your neck into place. Alright, so what we're going to do next we're going to put a little brace on the back, is we're going to flip this over, try to hold the neck in position. I'm just going to move this towel over so that everything kind of sits nice and flush. Alright, so we have our cover plate. Make sure you have the nice shiny area facing up, so it just looks nice. So we're going to hand tighten these in to start, and then we're going to screw these into place. Remember, you're not wanting to tighten it in all the way 100%, you just want to get everything aligned first. So I'm screwing these down to where the head of the screw is about a quarter of an inch above the plate, and this is just to ensure that the screws and everything are lining up and that I'm not running into any kind of a problem. There we go. So now we have the neck fastened securely to the body of the guitar. Now the final step is we're going to mount the neck strap holders. It's relatively simple. You want to make sure that you have your little spacer pad thing here. And we're going to position this in. We're going to hand thread it just to get it going. And then take our screwdriver and drive it home. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so the one thing I'm going to leave out on this video is how to restring the guitar. Um, I think there's a number of really helpful videos on how to do that. It's pretty simple. You're just going to run the strings through the back plate, through um, the bridge, and then connect it to its corresponding tuning peg. So this is the end of the guitar series. We have finally completed this guitar. Everything is put back together. It looks pristine and sharp. One thing that I would recommend doing is, you know, maybe apply another coat of wax. Uh, just to maintain the finish on this guitar because this is a really nice finish and the good thing is you'll probably re you'll appreciate your guitar even more now than when you bought it just because you did the finish yourself and everything so this is it this is the end of the series I'm really happy that it's done I hope you guys enjoyed this whole guitar series let me know if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns uh, down below in the comment section. Please subscribe and I also have some other links that you guys can follow me on if you're interested and look forward to the next series. So thanks again you guys and I'll see you on the next video.